I'm Ryan, and my life is average. What's up, guys? I am back yet again to try some more shit out that I have no idea about, and lately the trend on YouTube has been guys trying girl products and girls trying guy products, so I went to the store and I bought a bunch of girly products, and I'm going to try it on camera, and warning, I don't know anything about these products, okay? I don't think I've ever really, like, physically held or looked at these before, so I'm going to make a fool of myself. I'm going to do weird things with them. I'm going to be goofy. Just let me have some fun, okay? No one's home. So I could do whatever I want. If I wanted to strip naked and rub peanut butter all over myself like the giant peanut butter baby from Vine and just go, eh, I can. I won't because that's a waste of peanut butter. All right, so here we go. First up from the store, which one of the things, you know, it's like, oh, it shouldn't be awkward for a guy to go in the girl aisle. And I agree. I was saying, I was like, I don't care that I'm going in this girl aisle, right? It's a whatever. That shouldn't be an issue anyway. But then I'm in the, the aisle with all the, the pads and tampons and every woman there is legitimate laughing at me, like smirking and snarking. So much so that I felt so awkward. I had to do the fake phone call. But then while I was on the fake phone call, I got a real phone call. So everyone knew that I was actually faking it just to be less embarrassed, which then made me feel more embarrassed. Thank God for the self-checkout line at Target. Okay, so first up was liners, also known as pads. If I get any of this info wrong, um, please don't get mad at me. These are long, you know, for taller girls, I guess, I don't know. They're very light. I don't know if that means lightweight. They've been dieting, I don't know, and there's 44 of them. I, I just wanted to get a one count, or like a five. I don't need 44 of these, but I got them anyway. So, you know, let's look at these suckers. I swear I've never honestly, like, held one of these before. Also, you probably can't see it, but there is a giant hair on this, and it's not mine. So that's terrifying and disgusting. Okay. Here they are. Whoa, they're small. It comes in a really small package, almost like a, a package of sugar or something. Oh, it opens. Okay, this is... Oh, wow, okay, it's very white on the camera, but it is a thing. It almost looks like a dog bone, but a fluffy two centimeter uh, thick dog bone. And it ha Oh, it's sticky on the bottom. So I guess you peel this off. Like that. If I had a, a, a peach, a hoo-ha down there, I guess you would take this and stick it to it. I almost feel like these are on like those juice commercials where like, oh, you spill juice and then the juice it absorbs. It's like the Bounty commercials, which by the way are total bullshit because I bought Bounty, the quicker picker, liquor dicker, whatever upper, okay? And in the commercial, the guy, you know, he's in a goddamn flannel, like he's a hipster, and he spills like a gallon of grape juice all over the place, okay? My friend spilled a Yoo-Hoo. We tried picking it up, the damn thing disintegrated. Like it was cotton candy and water. Anybody ever seen that video of the, the raccoon dipping its cotton candy in, in the water accidentally and getting devastated because he doesn't know where it goes? No, I'll put it here right now. It's just devastating. That's besides the point, okay? Don't buy bounty. So this, I am sorry, I don't know. I guess, do you put it, you know, you just stick it. This looks kind of cool, to be honest. Their probably girl so annoyed at me right now. I'm so, I'm just having fun. Okay, please don't hide me. You know what this could be? Oh, it's ripping my hairs out a little bit. It actually got, okay. Maybe like a sleep mask. Meaning like, okay, say you're say you're out and you're, you're a guy, you're out in the wilderness, you're man versus wild in it, and you, uh, you know, you, you can't sleep and you find a pad on the ground and you're like, oh wow I can't see anymore sleep mask May I bet you someone's used this on a plane before like they didn't have a sleep mask so they used a pad and then while they're sleeping a guy comes over with a pot of lukewarm coffee spills it hits her, her in the eyes guess what? she doesn't wake up because she's comfortable with her sleep pad and the pad absorbs the coffee, so she's fine. Okay, next up on the list we have tampons. I swear to God, I've never actually looked at a tampon up close before. Just haven't, I just never really have looked at it. I've seen them, but not up close. So once again, I could only buy a 36 pack. These are S for super. So these are, these are the best ones, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry if anyone can help me out here. These are, 
similar to Playtex Sport and they are super absorbent. Comes in this little package. Speaking of little packages, huh? I just made fun of myself. All right, here we go. Here it is, guys and girls. It kind of looks like a mini fishing rod. You know that, uh, that game back in the day? It was like magnetic fish and the mouths would be open and they'd have like a little circle of a magnet on it. And then you would have a little mini fishing rod and you would have to, if there was a magnet on any of this, this would be like the mini fishing rod. That's how my brain works. So, you know, it does this. Oh shit, I understand how it works. Wait a second, I understand. Fuck, I just, you can see my face, it's like I just discovered fire. Okay, I was gonna say I never heard of, uh, girls talk about, you know, pl being plastic being up there. That sounds painful. It kind of looked like a flower blooming. Now I understand what's going on here, people. Breakthrough, you take this, like a push pop, like a Flintstones push pop that you don't want, and you push it up, and then it, and then it shoots it up, and then you know, and then it's you know, it stops that, and you take this and you throw it at your enemies. I've also heard that people when they get nosebleeds will put this in their nose. I've seen it before. Okay, I've seen people put these up their nose, and it does apparently stop. I don't have a nosebleed, but I will attempt that now. Uh, and probably cut myself from this and I'll get a nosebleed regardless. So you just great Oh my oh shit Right, this is a video I hope my dad doesn't watch sometimes he watches some and sometimes he doesn't watch and this is the one I hope he doesn't watch so as you can see though it is in there pretty good And if I had a nosebleed, I feel like this would completely stop it and then when you're done You know you could do stuff with these you can uh, fill this with um blow darts and just blow poisonous darts at your enemies. If you're a girl and you're like, oh, that dude's making fun of me for having my period, you don't know how hard this is. <laughs> From looking at this and the plastic and everything, girls are tougher than guys. Okay, guys are gonna watch this and be like, no, no, in turn, okay, girls have to go through this shit every month. Dude, what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a complete pussy. I couldn't do that. Girls have this above it, like pregnancy. Childbirth? Are you kidding me? I'm just thinking of alternative uses, people, okay? Maybe put it in a Nerf gun. You really hate somebody. Take a used one, put it in a Nerf gun, and shoot someone right in the face with it. Make Ow! Then they'll think that they got hit so hard that they're bleeding. Little do they know. Huh? Oh, I'm bleeding! Oh! No, you're not. It's someone else's. I would like to say, though, I got a haircut before anyone mentions it in the comments. Look at that. Huh? I'm not wearing a hat. What do you think? Huh? Do I look like an idiot? Do you like it? Every, every time I get a haircut, everyone seems to hate it in the comments. Like, you know what, Ryan? The only start of it, it's like, you know, someone will compliment you and they'll do it to, to make you feel less bad. But like, you know what, dude? You're the, you're the man. You are the best. You're the funniest dude ever. Your haircut looks like fucking shit, man. So, last but not least is something that I'm super scared of and I'm gonna have to get really close to the camera for this one is Press on lashes from Ardell. This is with the new patented applicator. And it so you get the lashes, which are super long, and I think you just take it and press it. But here's my question, do you do you press it to the eyelashes itself or the skin? And how hard is this to get off? Here they are, they're like little spiders, little daddy long legs. Oh shit, oh! Shit, it's stuck to my finger! It's stuck, it's so scary, oh my god, it's so scary. Okay, shit. I didn't mean to do that. It looks like a little caterpillar is like crawling up my face. All right, so this is for the right eyelash. Lash. Oh my god, it's so hard. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got it. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's on. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. It looks kind of cool. Let's try the other one. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. That's what she said. Oh, this one's going very wrong. I, after like 20 attempts, I got. <laughs> oh God, man! Look at that. Look at that. I can bat my lashes. I feel like Marilyn Monroe. Oh, it kind of hurts. I feel really pretty right now. I kind of feel like I kind of look like Miss Piggy a little bit. I feel like this is the way her eyes look. But you know what? 
I'm okay with that. Miss Piggy was dope. All right, guys. So I feel, I feel good. I feel pretty. I definitely look a little silly. So I know I did this wrong. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed me doing whatever I just did. Uh, also, you know, if we get enough likes, let's say, let's go 6,000. Okay, we'll go low. Then I'll do another one of these because there's a lot of other girl products that I saw at the store. And you can comment down below like, Ryan, you should try this girl product or this girl. A lot of things to comment. Just comment away. Boo, there should be your fingers. Boo, little, 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 like you're playing a flute. That looks like something else. Also, if you didn't watch my last video, check that out. There's a giveaway and a contest at the end of that video. Uh, that will be going on for about another week. And then next week or the following week, I'll announce the winners of that. So you can still comment and do all those things to win those prizes. All right, good luck. As always, I will see you guys right here next Friday. And hey, stay average.